hello guys so in this video we'll be, we'll be trying to figure out how to find an enlargement of any given shape for any scale factor but in this video just because we're kind of limited here we're gonna find a scale factor of 2 half and minus 3 by the end of this video you will understand how to use each of these points and you'll be able to find an enlargement for any shape for any value at any given time okay so first things first let's do like number one scale factor of two okay so I'll show you how it's done in a very quick and easy way so firstly because this is a whiteboard I don't expect it to be accurate but make sure you do this on at least graph paper or, or paper that has some sort of squares in it okay, so firstly let me just draw our axes so this is just a little sketch here so don't expect it to be accurate okay so let's imagine we have a shape a square nice and easy okay that's it and then we have our coordinates one two one two so we're only going up to ones and twos yeah so now in this video in this question we want to find a scale factor of two normally in every single question you might get this extra word about the origin okay so literally they want you to find a scale factor about the origin meaning you start from here and you want to make sure you find a, a, some form of scale factor from this certain point so firstly if we look at each coordinate let's find all four coordinates first of all before we can answer the question so this first point what is the corner of here well we know it's 1 1 so let's just write it on the let's just write on the bottom here so we have 1 1 next we have 2, 1, that's, that's the bottom corner, the right corner, Top now the top left corner would be 1, 2, okay, and finally, this one, you should be able to find that is 2, 2, okay, the easiest way to solve this for any given question is when they tell you find a scale factor of 2 about the origin, it means from this point, you multiply every single coordinate by 2 the x and y so basically if we're going to multiply everything by 2 okay we should get 2 2 2 times 2 is 4 so 4 and then 2 again 2 4 and the last one is 4 4 okay so now let's plot this alongside this one yeah so now, let me rub out the top line. Okay. Okay, nicely done. So, 2, 2 would obviously be here because we can see that. So let me just expand the axis too. Okay. So now for the, for the rest of the numbers, for 4, 2, it's going to be 4 across here, so imagine this is 3, and here is 4. So it'll be here somewhere, and it goes up by 2, so here. Next is 2, 4. So from here, obviously 2 across and 4 up. So let's just say this was 3, and this was 4. We can find that it ends up being here. And obviously the last one will be 4, 4, so it'll be 4 here, 4 up here, so yeah that's pretty much our scale factor done so we can see that from the origin this is what actually happens okay and you can see it mimics here okay so that's pretty much the gist of it simply to recap for any scale factor, you find each coordinate of the normal shape, you multiply by what it tells you, so in this case times 2, write the corners down and plot back in. Okay, so very straightforward. So now, since we got this out of the way, let's try and do part 2 now, which is scale, fa scale factor of a half. Okay, let's just stick with the same shape again, yeah? Okay, let me just rub the whole thing out. Okay, so this should be pretty straightforward now. 
Okay. Oh, let's do a triangle this time. Okay. So once again, this will be one, two, three, one. I should say two. Okay. So this one, not too complicated, straightforward as well. Just go remember that you're multiplying by half. So for those unsure, you will see how it's done anyway. Okay. So first things first, write down the coordinates. So this one is 1, 1. This one is 3, 1. Now the top right corner would be 3, 2. Okay. Now we want to multiply this by half. By a scale factor of a half. Okay. So then this, all these coordinates become, so firstly 1 times a half. To multiply something by a half, you just put you just do, for example, 1 times a half. You times the top numbers together, so that just becomes a half. Likewise, 3 times a half. 3 times 1 is 3, so 3 over 2, and so on. This, this should be explained in another video that I should put up earlier today. Okay, anyway, back on topic. So, you're expected to know this, by the way. Okay, so, times by a half, we get half half this would be 3 over 2 half and this would be 3 over 2 and now 2 over 2 is simply 1 so 1 so let's plot this all in if you're still uncomfortable with fractions we, we can change them all to decimals so literally all of this becomes a half is simply 0 0.5 0 0.5 3 over 2 is same as 1 1 halves, so 1.5. Once again, 0 0.5. And that's it, 1.5 and 1. So now, by plotting all this into the graph, it can be seen that the new shape should be firstly, 0 0.5 would probably be around here, so 0 0.5, 0 0.5. 1.5, 0 0.5. So 1.5 is somewhere here. 0 0.5 here, so here it is. Our last one is 1.5, 1. So 1.5, 1. So literally, the shape should be something like that. So yeah, fairly straightforward. Can be a bit tricky, but certainly doable. Okay, so now let's go back to the final example. So now, scale factor of, what was it? Yeah, minus 3, that's the one. Okay, so this one has to be... We're going to kind of need a whole page for this. So on your notepad or sketchbook, whatever you're using, make sure you draw the full x, y axis. x, y. Okay. And let's just draw another shape. This time, let's see. Once again, easy shape here. Okay, so the coordinates here is obviously 1, 2, one, two, and we can add the rest layer, but I'm sure you know what it is. Okay, so in this case, first things first, write down your coordinates. So this one is obviously like we found earlier, which was one, one. Next one should be two, one, which is that corner. This corner should be one, two. And the last one is two, two. And now the question wants us to find a scale factor of minus 3. So like every other example, we've got times everything by minus 3. So if we're going to times all of these corners by minus 3, let's write down here. So let's write this corner actually. One, all, one, so this one times minus 3 both sides, you should get minus 3, minus 3. This one you should get minus 6, minus 3. The bottom one you should get minus 3, minus 6. And the last one, minus 6, minus 6. So before we do this, you, you have to make sure you know how to plot everything into a graph. Okay? I'll show you another tutorial on this if you're still struggling. So please PM me or, or write a comment below if you're still confused about this part. Okay. So let's plot everything back in. So, of course, negatives would be going this way because x axis and downwards across the y's. 
Okay, so let's just imagine we want to plot minus 3, minus 3. So minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Because we've got minus 6. Go all the way. Minus 4, minus 5, minus 6. Okay, and same here. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so let's plot everything down. So minus 3, minus 3 first. 3 across, 3 on the left, 3 downwards. So should be about here. Minus 6, minus 3, so 6 across, 3 down. Somewhere like here. Okay. So we're like cross here, yeah? so this is minus 3, minus 6, minus 3, minus 6. Now next one is minus 3, minus 6, which would be minus 3 across, minus 6 down, so here. And obviously minus 6, minus 6 would be 6 across, 6 down, so here. And there you have it your transformation for finding enlargement or, or scale factor is pretty much how in the bag so yeah if you want if you need a question below you still don't understand please leave it please send me a message below or pm me and hopefully i should get back to you okay thank you so thank you very much take care